Winston-Salem for Scythe County Schools. My name is Emily Wilburn with Wilburn Medical USA and I'm here to show you how to set up your desk shields for your students. So we've got one already set up here and what this includes is a shield and the velcro you need. So the shield will come flattened like this and it's going to have a cover on both sides. So first step is you're going to peel off this cover and you'll do so to reveal the shield that's going to look like this. Then from there you will fold the bottom pieces so that they are flat like so. So it'll give you that base that you're looking for to stand the shield up on the desk. And as you are folding the pieces of this shield, you're going to want to do that gently but applying some firm pressure. Um, as well, after you set up the base of the shield, you will then create the structure of the shield by folding the shield as well. Again, that gentle firm pressure and it's going to create this shape of the desk shield. Once you've got it all set up, it's going to look like this. And from there, we've included Velcro for you. It may have come just in some cellophane wrap like this, or it might look like this as well. But either way, you will take the Velcro out of the pack, and you'll have, of course, the two pieces of Velcro. I would stick the plush side, so the softer side of the Velcro, on the desk. So once it's set up, You'll see where you'd like to have your Velcro piece, and you'll peel off the clear plastic piece, and you'll set that up on the desk how you'd like it. And then the more firm Velcro piece, you'll peel back the clear plastic, and you will attach that to the bottom edge of the desk shield. That way, it'll be firm and secure on the desk. And if students need to transition, or if you need to remove these for cleaning, you can lift them up off of the Velcro, fold them up, and they're ready to transport. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know. We're really grateful for you, and we hope that these serve you to protect your students and to keep your classroom safe. Thank you.